as I think back over what my dad did and my sisters and brother in my life, um, he made the dinner table special. He was there. He made vacations special. He brought us together and continued to do, do that until he died. Um, he wrote us notes and would tell us who we were and how much he loved us and how proud he was of us and put a little Bible verse on there. Uh, he reminded us that we were meant to be leaders, which means make the world better for others. Um, he gave us hugs. He gave us kisses. He embarrassed me after football games. He'd come down to the field in college or high school and kiss me right there on the field. But I love him, and I love the affirmation. Um, and so I honor the things that my dad did to build my identity, to build my confidence, to build my sense of love from him. Um, and I say, thank you, Dad. You know, I miss that. But I got so much of it that I just passed it on to my sons and to other guys who didn't get it. And I think if we honor our dad, regardless of whether he was perfect or imperfect, which of course, they're all imperfect, um, it does something good in our heart, and it's certainly a blessing to a dad if you're able to tell him that. And that this time when my dad's gone, um, I take Father's Day as a time to celebrate him and encourage other dads um, and tell other guys, honor your dad. And, and let's do it this Father's Day. And let's do it next Father's Day. And let's do it all year long, whenever the right opportunity comes. Because gratitude isn't something that's to be reserved for a certain moment. Honor isn't to be reserved for one day. It's a lifestyle. It blesses them and it blesses you. So dads, honor your dads. Guys, honor your dads. Women, moms, daughters, honor your dad. It's not the perfection, it's the heart. And it's the role, it's the position of honoring your dad.